Right, guys, let's move on to the next exercise of this chapter, rectilinear figures. So in this exercise, we'll talk about the specific type of quadrilaterals. But before we uh, solve some questions, let's revise certain properties that we know about specific type of quadrilaterals. First, trapezium. Trapezium has one pair of side which is parallel. So one pair of parallel sides. That's trapezium. Second, anything else? No, that's the only thing which we know about trapezium. Then we have a special type of trapezium which is called an isosceles trapezium. Now, in an isosceles trapezium, obviously one pair of parallel sides which we've talked about. So one pair of parallel sides. Next, let me give this some name. A, B, C, D and the point of intersection of their uh, diagonals B, O. Then angle A will be equal to angle B. Angle C will be equal to angle D. It has been marked in this diagram as well. Uh, AC will be equal to BD. The diagonals are equal. And OA is equal to OB. And OC is equal to OD. This is a isosceles trapezium which has uh, both pair of diagonals are equal and the intersection of the diagonal is in a manner that the corresponding parts of the diagonals are equal which means OA and OB are equal, OC and OD are equal. And non-parallel non sides are equal. I forgot to mention this is the most important one. One pair of parallel side and non-parallel sides are equal which means AD is equal to BC. Perfect. Then let's look at a parallelogram. Parallelogram has both pair of parallel, both pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel which means AB equal to CD, AD equal to BC, AB parallel to CD and AD parallel to BC. Next, we know that the diagonals are not equal but we know that the diagonals bisect each other which means ED is equal to EB and EA is equal to EC. The diagonals bisect each other. What we also know is angle A is equal to angle C, which means the uh, diagonally opposite angles are equal and angle B is equal to angle D. So A is equal to C and B is equal to D. So these are things which is opposite sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel, opposite angles are equal, and diagonals bisect each other. Good. Let's look at the next one which is a rhombus. So in a rhombus we have, rhombus is a special type of parallelogram in which all four sides are equal which means AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. Next we know that diagonals bisect each other at right angle which means MA is equal to MC in this question, in this diagram, MB is equal to MD. The diagonals bisect each other. And angle M, in this case, whichever way you look at it, whether it's DMC or BMC or BMA or DMA, angle M is equal to 90 degree. So that's the uh, next one, which is a rhombus. Let's look at the next one, which is... Uh, we'll talk about rectangle and square. So in a rectangle, we know that opposite sides are equal. Again, this is a type of parallelogram. So opposite sides are equal and parallel. The key difference from what are, we've talked about in parallelogram are that the diagonals are equal. And obviously the diagonals bisect each other because it's a parallelogram. So what we have is AB is equal to CD. Next, AD is equal to BC. Next, diagonals are equal, which means AC is equal to BD. If I call it uh, point O, then OA is equal to OB is equal to OC is equal to OD. Because the diagonals are equal as well as the uh, 
um, diagonals bisect each other. And that brings me to the square, which is the last one in this uh, quadrilateral. So here we have AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. All sides are equal. Both diagonals are equal, which means AC is equal to BD. And the difference being that the diagonals bisect at 90 degree, which means angle O, the point where they intersect is 90 degree. And obviously the diagonals bisect each other because this is a type of a parallelogram. So OA is equal to OB is equal to OC is equal to OD. Done. Now let's try and solve some questions and see how we can apply these properties to solve some questions. So here I am on exercise 14B, question number two. Two, it says in uh, AM bisects angle A. So AM bisects angle A, which means this angle and this angle are equal. Similarly, D, uh, DM bisects angle D of parallelogram ABCD. So this is a parallelogram, which means the both pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. Perfect. We need to prove that angle AMD is equal to 90 degrees. So let angle D A M is equal to angle B A M is equal to X. So let this angle be X. This is also X. Why? Since A M bisects angle A. This is given. Number two, let angle A D M is equal to angle C D M is equal to Y. So I'm saying let this be angle Y. Why can we take it to be equal? Because DM bisects angle D. So now let's look at the triangle ADM. Do we have anything? We have X, Y, we have no clue about this. So, but still, let's look at this parallelogram. In parallelogram A, B, C, D, angle B, A, D, plus angle CDA, which is this full angle and this full angle. They are interior, co-interior angles. So some of these angles are 180 degree, since these are co-interior angles. So co-interior angle, the sum is 180 degree. Angle BAD, we've taken it as 2X. Angle CDA, we've taken it to be 2Y is equal to 180 degree, which means 2 times x plus y is equal to 180 degree, which means x plus y is equal to 90 degree. Done. Now let's look at the triangle. So in triangle ADM, x plus y plus angle AMD is equal to 180 degree, which means let's give it a number. This was 2. This will be 3. This is 4, this is 5, right? This is number 6. So which means number 7 would be 90 degree plus angle AMD is equal to 180 degree. This is from 5 because X plus Y is equal to 90 degree, which means angle AMD is equal to 90 degree. This is what they wanted us to prove. So hence proved done. One reason missing, this would be angle sum property. Done. So first we prove that 2x plus 2y is equal to 180 using the co-interior angle property and then we looked at the small triangle AMD and that's how we moved from here. Good. Let's move to the next one. The next question that we do would be question number four. Question number four says, in uh, a square ABCD, diagonals meet at O. Good. So, oh, the, diag the diagram is not given. So, I will have to make a rough diagram. So, this is diag this is a square. In this square, they're saying diagonals meet at O. So, let me just draw a rough diagram. So, this is the diagonals are meeting at O. Let me name it. This is A. B, C, and D. The diagonals meet at O. We know that the diagonals meet at right angle. We know all sides are equal. I have marked whatever I knew. 
next uh, p is a point on bc okay somewhere here is p such that ob is equal to bp okay so somewhere here is point somewhere here would be point p and let's join op perfect what is also given is ob is equal to bp perfect ob and bp are equal show that angle poc is equal to something angle bdc is equal to something perfect so uh, what do we know let's look at this triangle that we know bop i know this angle and this angle will be equal why because uh, this is a isosceles triangle this is x this is x i know that the diagonal bisects the uh, vertex angle in a square which means this angle is 45 degree so i should be able to find out angle poc pob perfect how will i find angle poc i know that this big angle is 90 degree done i think i have done with this question chalo let's write this down so uh in triangle obp number 1 ob is equal to bp this is given therefore triangle obp is isosceles which means this is number 2 number 3 would be therefore angle bop is equal to angle bpo is equal to x so let angle bop is equal to angle bpo is equal to x because these two angles are equal next number 4 angle dbc is equal to 45 degree why diagonals bisect vertex angle in a square so in a uh, square they bisect the vertex angle so this is 45 degree so now let's look at obp which would be x plus x plus 45 degree is equal to 180 degree which means 2x is equal to 135 degree which means x is equal to 67.5 degree so let's give them some number this is my number 5 so this angle and this angle are 67.5 degree so this is 67.5 degree i know that angle boc is 90 degree angle boc is equal to 90 degree why uh, diagonals bisect at 90 degree in a square done so which means 90 degree is equal to 67.5 degree plus angle cop which means number 8 is angle cop is equal to 90 degree minus 67.5 degree therefore angle cop is equal to 22.5 degree that's what they wanted us to prove we have done that this is my part 1 good so this one is done let's see how will we figure out the other one next is angle bdc where is bdc bdc uh, okay so again we will know that bdc is also 45 degree because this is a uh, diagonal bisect the vertex angle so this is 45 degree let's just write that angle bdc is equal to 45 degree uh, diagonals bisect vertex angle done uh, from 9 and 10 oh 9 and 8 sorry this was my number 8 we get angle bbc is equal to 45 degree is equal to two times angle cop which is 2 into 22.5 degree perfect so this is part number 2 which they wanted us to do we've done that done next is angle bop is equal to 3 times angle cop okay so we figured out what is angle bop so which brings me to number 10 angle bop 
is equal to x is equal to 67.5 degree this is from 5 and angle uh, cop is equal to 22.5 degree from 8 therefore angle bop is equal to 3 times angle cop since 67.5 degree is 3 times 22.5 degree done so that finishes this question i'll see you with the next video bye take care see you soon